This should help. changed. What do you mean? Well... Hmm. You okay? Let's hope the rain falling outside my Gosh, window will not be picked up. And if it's picked up, I'm going to be very annoyed. And I'm definitely going to be restarting this recording. I don't want to restart this recording. Although, if stuff happening, the floor directly below me by my obnoxiously loud siblings is not picked up on the mic, the rain probably will not, which is a good thing. Let's turn the TV sound up so I can actually hear what's happening in the game. What's that? With my giant headphones on. Ah, ah, no. Okay. I was checking the time so I know how long an hour is. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Ah, uh, we made it, yay. Great, now we have the Keyblade. Also, I'm moving apart from that fight. This is too hard. I tried, I tried my best. I even tried a few times before starting up this video. I got so close one time. I'll put in that failed attempt, actually. I'm gonna put in that failed attempt at the very beginning. Cause I got so darn close and I just gave up. Oh my god, I came so close. I somehow killed Tita by the shack. Waka jumped over him and now he couldn't get out. Uh, and I got so close to killing him as well. I feel like one more combo, I would have had him. Oh, I was so close. Uh... Okay, now time for our first real boss. Actually, never mind, it's not even that. This should just use the same strategy as the beginning. Traverstown, our first, the first world of this game, and oh my god, I love this world way more than I thought I ever would. First, the music is great, I really love the music of this world. You'll hear it once I enter the actual world layout. I can't skip the path this right. Here we go. Uh, 
There's just something so calming and relaxing about it. Yeah, okay, I can't skip past any of this stuff. Gotcha. Only the animated cutscenes I can skip past. I think it's my personal best. I've never found all ten. Wait, I think I can get to another one right now. No, it's not at the accessory shop. It's, it's um, over in the item shop, which is right next door. From what I've heard as well, you can also get all ten postcards in like your first visit. So I'm going to look them up and find out how to get them in the video, just for you guys. Okay, anyway, you get the one for hitting that ceiling fan. Shard, yeah, it'll, it'll be useful when we actually get to like synthesize and stuff. Okay, let's see. Uh, at the same time, trying to look up like all the uh, pose card locations, so I'm just gonna look that up quickly. Kingdom Hearts. Shop, hit the fan of the item shop, got in those two. Okay, we can't get that one yet. Crack open the blue safe in District 1 after finishing the area. Okay, we can't do that one yet. Jump up to the awning of the second shoe of the shoe store. We can't do that one right now. Let's see what else are the other ones that we can do. Uh, after locking the keyhole, can't do that one, cast funnel, can't do that one. Uh, okay, so yeah, we can't get any more right now, but I'll come back to them after we finish this world. Wait, there's one right in here, isn't there? Yeah, actually, yeah, I have to beat the world to, to get that one, to get that one open. So the game awards are tonight, that's really bloody exciting. I'm really stoked for the Game Awards. Who wouldn't be, honestly? Smash is definitely going to win Game of the Year. I have no doubts about that. It's gonna, Smash is going to win anything that it's been put up for. It's been put up for Game of the Year. It's been put up for Best um, Fighting Game. It's been put up for Best Family Game. It's going to win everything it was put up for. I assure you all of that. I am getting this chest now. No, I can't because there's a fight. It's not like Kingdom Hearts 2 where I can just get chests whenever I want. That's the only reason I'm fighting this heartless. Well, I guess I get money from it, but eh. Money can only do so much for you. Alright. There we go. Mega Potion, that's actually going to be really helpful. Mm. Okay, 
Okay, so we are now... Uh... I don't know, less than 10 minutes. Not that I don't know. We just, we just are less than 10 minutes into the report. just running into near misses with these guys. I don't know how we avoid them for so long. shop. Might want to touch that save point so you can heal. Why was I going to save here? Huh. Sorry about rubbing up against the mic there. That was not my intention. My intention was to get a drink of water into my mouth. Look on and you, you go in and then you just leave and then you fight Squall from Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> so I tried Final Fantasy VIII recently in the Switch. I forgot how brutal level 1 is. <laughs> but anyway, um, I played the Switch uh, port of Final Fantasy VIII. The HD remaster it's called. Not my kind of game. I loved 15. I loved 15 the bit. I beat it. I will get those videos up sometime. I promise you guys that. But, uh... Yeah, this 8 is not my kind of game. I just don't think the older ones are my kind of game. I just feel like 15 and then, on, uh... Lazy bum. Whatever uh, the 7 remake's gonna be are just gonna be the ones I like. Let's 
Yeah, I need to talk to you before I can learn how to unlock chests, right? Okay, so now we can unlock everything, even though some of the stuff we couldn't unlock before, and it's completely obvious what we can and can't unlock. Alright, let's talk to Leon, let's get this over with. I needed to do this project and put the most work into it. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna need to start working from home, doing doing more stuff on it at home. That's the week it just decides to stop working. Oh, you're right here? Postcard! Anyway. Yeah, it just decided to stop working. I didn't do anything to it because literally it was working just perfectly fine the day before. Nothing was out of the ordinary. And it just decided to stop working. And I could have just not uploaded the video until I get a new one because I'm getting a new one on Christmas. So I could have just not uploaded the video until I, get a, I got another one. I could have. I could have just done that. But that would have been wrong. I would have felt bad doing that because like... Like, because... I've been getting messages recently that, t that tell me people like watching me, surprising as it is. Some means I want to keep doing these. Like, I enjoy doing these and playing them. And honestly, seeing how high my view count can go, like the last two Kingdom Hearts videos and the Persona 5 dancing video I did yesterday, they killed it. Like more than any of the previous Kingdom Hearts, more than any of my Kingdom Hearts tree or re Chain of Memories videos have done more and more than any and that Persona 5 dancing video did better than any of my Persona 5 or Tree dancing videos. And I want to do the Royal when it comes out. I really, really want to do the Royal so I, I hope to God that it doesn't, um, that's not going to be that kind of situation. Hopefully I'll get a capture card for Christmas as well. I did ask for one, but I will get one though. It's a completely different story which I cannot confirm or deny as of yet. Come on. But a capture card will make all the impossible games do possible. I can also do a couple of games on the Switch, and I can also record for more than an hour, which is one of the biggest problems I have. There's so many moments where I've had to leave it off a really awkward part, it's just because I cannot go over an hour. I being able to think that would be so great. I should have equipped items. Uh oh. This might go really badly for me. Yeah, I don't have items. Where's Root? Come on. I'll try my best, though. Continue, and I'm equipping items this time. Items, Sora, take out. Mega Potion, Mega Potion, Elixir. There we go. Let's go do this. Okay, 
What was I saying before? Right, because I wanted to get a capture card. I want to get a capture card. But I really hope I do. I put it on my list. That's the I want. Oh, not yet. I am not going to be the end of the world if I don't. I still have a year of PS4 games that I have and I'm going to get, which will fill that gap for not having a capture card in the not gonna be the The main thing I need is that laptop, but oh my god. I did not predict that mine would break on me like that. I really should have seen it coming. My laptop has been a piece of shit lately. Not been the kind of one to not been the kind of one to be. It's had a lot of problems for a while now, so I'm kinda glad I'm getting a replacement. I've been asking for one for a long time. My computer is so slow, has so much stuff going on it that it does not need to have going on it. I don't even know how it got half that stuff, but it has them, and I need to put up with it. But it's so much easier to not have to deal with it. Thank you. Getting it. Oh, I won. Okay, great. But yeah, I would so love a new laptop, but you guys have no idea. Whew. So you're. Yeah, that's that one. Done. That's this world over with. Uh, we can actually go get two of the um, two of the treasure chests now. That little squirt. So we need to do the blue trinity next to the item shop, and. Oh no, just one of them. We can only get one of them now. So it's better than nothing. Alright, and that's that. Dodge roll, thank God. Oh boy, did we need that ability. Oh, Alright. I know what this is. Okay, I've played this game quite a few times. Boink. And now we're up here. So if you don't get this chest now, you just jump down. You're locked out of getting this chest forever. So make sure you get the chest. And don't be an idiot like me who did it one, who did this one time. I was locked out of getting that chest forever. It's not a fun time, people. Mega Ether. Okay, and we're honestly done with this world. There's nothing real else we can do here, actually. No, yeah, let's go unlock the uh, turret district. Oh, and we can go, go to Merlin's house. There's a ton of stuff we can still do here. I'm glad I didn't leave it when I said that. Okay, let's unlock the third district and go to Merlin's, ha Merlin's house. But yeah, I would love to do some Switch games on this channel. You guys have no idea. It's me and a friend of mine. We play Smash like every second night. And I am not kidding when I say it. If not, every night. Oh boy. Would those make some grave videos? <laughs> Just saying. Like we could, we could move one of our play sessions earlier to the day where I can record it, and just uh, it'll be so great. And then of course all the. Uh... See ya. And of course all the PS4 games that I can't play. Well, like Persona 5 is the only one really. And to be fair, I might as well just wait until the Royal since it comes out in uh, about in like three and a half months. Uh, 31st of March, it's the middle of December, January, February. Yeah, pretty much two and a half, really. No, three and a half. Yeah, three and a half. That's just me bad. That's me counting bad. Yeah, three and a half months. So I may as well honestly just wait for the Royal and do that since that's just going to be a zhuzhed up Persona 5. How do I feel about the Royal? I have mixed feelings, honestly. At first I thought, oh, this is gonna be great. Persona 5 is getting the treatment for and treat. Persona 5 is getting the treatment for and treat on. It's gonna be amazing. But now that I've heard some of these stuff from it, some of the stuff is great. Like, yeah, this is completely what I expected to happen. And then other stuff's like, no, I did not. Nobody wanted this. Nobody asked for this change. Why are you doing it? 
that's what some of the things are. Like, stuff that don't make sense as well. I hear, I don't know if this has changed or if this was just some dumb rumor, but I heard that in the first, uh, I can't say too much, because I don't want to ruin Persona 5 for anyone who hasn't played it. I know there's gonna be people watching me who haven't played it. But there is a section in the first dungeon of the game where they swap out a character who completely made sense considering the, the scene. Yes, she was heavily sexualized, and yes, it was a little weird to look at, but it made sense for the moment. And now they're switching it out with, with the nerdy character who kind of makes sense, but nowhere near as much as she did. Anyone who's, if anyone's been keeping up with the news, you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, be glad you don't know what I'm talking about. Like, it is, like, some stuff I've heard from it, it's just confusing as to why they're doing this kind of stuff. And I know why they're doing it as well, it's to appeal to the uh, age rating systems. But Persona's never cared about it before. Why have they suddenly started caring? Anyway, yeah, this is a Kingdom Hearts video. Let's stop gushing about Persona. I could go on for Persona about hours. I think anyone who's played a Persona game could go on about it for hours. They're those types of games. They're the games that just suck you in and keep you there. So I'll stop gushing about that, and we'll talk about something else, because I could go on for hours like this. Anyway, let's move on to our first world, and we're just going to go in the difficulty order. That's what most people see it as anyway. We're going to go to Wonderland first. And if you think I'm spoiling you by saying Wonderland, I'm not. This game has been out since 2002, I believe. So, come on. Alright, let's get this game rolling. Shoot down these whatever they are. I agree with what they're doing, rewind, rewind 100%, but here's the thing, it should not be DLC, it should be in the game, that's my main problem with Rewind. I feel like all games, that's like, I know I said stuff about it, but the Persona is all into the same trap as well, they're trying to do what they did years ago, back when it was, like, back when we could understand what they did it back then, back then, you could not patch video games, back then it was fine to do this kind of stuff, but now it's not, because, they're what they're trying to do. They're trying to do what they've always done. Release a new version with like everything upgraded. But here's the thing. They don't need to do that anymore. When the PS4 game system is so... The PS4 like game like... The, the amount of stuff you can put inside your game on the PS4 is insane. And the Switch as well for that matter. Yeah, just the current generation stuff you can put on your games. It's massive. You guys would not understand. Like, like seriously, go play Persona 5 or a game like that and tell me, and you will find out how long it is. The amount of stuff you can put in that game and imagine they're even putting more stuff into it. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. And even a game like Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5, that's four Kingdom Hearts games and two Kingdom Hearts cutscene collections. Dude, that's impressive. It's impressive to have that much stuff on it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba 
Alright. Yeah, I know, you don't get some tell. Let's just get on with it. So, yeah. Uh, I have to fight them to get back. Do 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 Boom. Don't you love when presents just fall from the sky like that? Yeah, for some reason I thought when I thought of like uh items in like the uh oh, yeah, I better put fire up. Okay, there it goes there. Uh when I thought like the items didn't need like magic Sorry, I almost uh almost burst there or something. But uh, when I thought he was like, items in the magic uh, exchange menu, I thought it was like, pretty... I thought it was for like... I thought the items were the magic, because I didn't get to read it in time. I'm like, whoa, okay, I should not have two magics right now. Like, that was, this was actually the uh, last fight when I used magic. Uh, I got I got a shield, right? Uh, brave warrior, perfect. Now I'm gonna check. Actually, I'm not gonna check this up in the journal. That would take ages. I don't like having like the like a flashing like new sign or something like that. Like in my menus, it's kind of it just kind of annoys me. It just bothers me. So that's why I don't like having it there. But that would take hours to scroll through, and it's just better to do it off camera because. That's the kind of stuff that should stay off camera. It's this one I need to give a potion to, right? Yep. Flower. Alright, now we can do Oh no, oh no, we don't have another potion. Oh no, I freaked myself. Oh no. I have an ether. Do I? Yes, I do. Power. Here we go. I please get a potion. All I really want. I don't want a campy set, I want a potion. I just gave someone an ether. I don't have a potion, that's what I'm looking for. To be fair. In the game's defense, I really should have gone to the item shop before and even planned to. For some reason, I just 
didn't. And now I've got 819 money just lying around and I've got nothing to do with it. Well, I'm coming to get you. Maybe you'll drop a potion. Now that I think about it, why is that flower, that flower making a big thing in the game? It's not like it gives you anything. Oh, it's for this thing. Oh, that's why it's in the game. Uh, well, we need a potion, and I don't know where I'm going to get one. Oh boy, um, as much as I hate to say it, this might require a trip back to, uh, Traverse Town. <sighs> the problem is it's not gonna take me back to one to one before I use that potion. <laughs> Uh, 
fly all the way back or I could say even leave it here or do it off camera which is what I think I should do so I mean thank you guys for watching this train wreck but I hope you'll tune in to watch me again next time goodbye